this is the brand new Tesla app and in this video I'm going to do a complete walkthrough and show you guys the brand new user interface that the Tesla app has to offer. Now if you are a current Tesla owner and you can't see this brand new app even if you went to the Apple App Store or Android App Store and saw that the update wasn't available just delete the Tesla app and reinstall the app that will give you the latest version of the Tesla app and you'll be able to access the new user interface. And if you just clicked on this video because you can't figure out how to set up your phone as a key watch this. And for the people who deleted the Tesla app and reinstalled it you need to do this as well. Once you reinstall the app and you're not logged in, you get to this get started page with really nice shots of the Model Y. It's, it's really nice. And you click on get started, you sign in, and this is the first page that you come to. So when you get into the Tesla app, you'll see that your phone key that you set up has been deleted because you uninstalled the app. So once you click this, it'll say set up phone key and you click pair communicating with the car and it's asking me to swipe the Tesla key card right now so all you need is a Tesla key it's asking me is it's asking me to put the Tesla key card here so I'm gonna tap it here phone key has been set up now as we get into the Tesla app it's pretty similar to the iOS 11 or the new user interface update that the, that we got on the Tesla uh, a while back on the top you used to have three buttons now you have four you have the usual lock unlock button and then you have the climate control button i want to like the new user interface but it's very very laggy i don't know if, if it's because of my internet but it's not as fast as the previous one i have uh, heard from other tesla owners that it's just me and it's working out pretty well for the other tesla owners and on the rightmost button it has the usual front button so if you open it you'll have to close it manually so it didn't have this message saying that you will have to close it manually so if you're messing around with the Tesla app you know best to not open it uh, if you're at home just messing around with the app because I do sometimes so if I open it right now the front is going to open up and you can see this really nice animation on the Tesla app it doesn't show you what's inside the frunk. Uh, hopefully in the future with a future update if it had like a camera in the frunk. But this is what it looks like. The animation is really nice. And this is this is new. This We didn't have this on the previous Tesla app. And it is this little icon over here. So once you press this, the charge port automatically opens up. So just a disclaimer, so if you are playing around with the new Tesla app, remember to close your charge port when you're done messing around with the car. And also if you're in the car, the charge it'll say that the charge port is open and it'll pop up the charging screen on your Tesla um, screen as well. So this is what you can use to kind of set the charge limit on your Tesla. Usually usually on like the previous uh, ones like the previous app you had to go to the charging section to do this but right now you can just do this from straight from the home screen which is nice it is a nice addition and I use this a lot sometimes especially when I'm on a road trip so it's a really nice feature to have and I like this on the home screen so up next is where we have the media controls I didn't really use these as much maybe when you're a passenger uh, in the back seat you can use this okay it has like the you can control the volume play music and next all that stuff and then we come to control so once you click on controls this is what the new controls look like if the, your frunk is open like my frunk is open right now you know what I'm just gonna go and close it while wh while I do this I want to show you guys what the animation looks like if the uh, back is open as well so if I open the back I'll have to close it manually so there you go it opens up the animation is really nice it you can see the whole Tesla like you can see the back of the Tesla it's really nice it doesn't show my number plate though so maybe in the future it also shows that my charge port is open so I, I'll just click this and it will close my charge port let's see so if I open my door so this is what it looks like the animation is very smooth when I open my door and I guess it'll be the same for all the other doors as well I'm not gonna it'll be so this is what it looks like if I open the other door the driver's side door pretty smooth animation even when closing it let's see 
there you go pretty nice I'm gonna go and close the front and the back Now, if you have one of the newer Teslas, you'll have the ability to open and close the trunk just directly from the app. But I don't know if they're doing the same thing with the trunk with the newer models, maybe with the 2022, fingers crossed, hopefully. The controls here right now looks really nice, better than the last. Uh, it's very minimal. The flash is still the same. The, when you click the flash, it'll flash the headlights. When you click the honk, it'll honk the honk. And you can... Wow, so when you click on this, it'll start a timer and usually uh, on the last app, you'd have to memorize your Tesla password. But right now you have two minutes to press the brake, press the brake and select a gear. And once you do that, it will hopefully drive. The lock unlock button, the trunk open close and the front open close buttons are exactly like it is on the new user interface on the Tesla screen on your Tesla. So you can lock the car from here as well. And there's vent. It'll vent all the windows just like the previous app, but it's even nicer. It's more minimal. So one thing I realized is that the font is really, really small. Even though it looks really minimal and clean, people with disabilities might find it hard to click on these buttons or uh, hard to see these buttons. So that's something that Tesla that I saw on one of the Tesla forums that people were talking about. And then it's pretty smooth you can go back and forth it's the interface is really nice and then let's go to climate control climate control is really nice it's it's like right now it's in low if I press the button on top it takes a little bit time it's probably me my uh, like my app is slow but right now it's preheating the car so this is what I'll be using in the winter but not right now because it's pretty hot um, I'll change the temperature to so you can control the temperature like this right now like we didn't have a dial on the previous Tesla app so this is another nice thing to have you you have an you have an on and off button pretty nice like I said it's very minimal and nice but I'm worried about the people with disabilities that might find it hard to locate these buttons because they're really small and one thing I like about the new settings in the climate control is that your vent button is on the climate controls because in the summer usually what i do is when my car is at like 40 degrees celsius i usually vent the windows uh, so that all the hot air goes out and this is a nice thing to have i'll use this a lot and i guess tesla saw that people were venting the windows in the summer and then turning on the climate controls so they made this change so that we don't have to move back and forth going back location once I press on the location, it'll so it show you the exact location where you're at. There's a new button on the top right, which you can click. Like this is probably where I am. This is probably to show you guys the map. And on the top right button, the topmost button, once you click it, it'll take you to the maps. This phone doesn't have maps installed, but once you click on this button, it'll take you, it'll start giving you the direction to where you parked your car. So that's another nice feature to have. Let's go back. Okay, so after location comes security. iPhone 8 Plus connected. With security, this is something that we didn't have with the previous mobile phone app. So now you can see which iPhone is connected to your Tesla. So right now the iPhone 8 Plus is connected. So this is my girlfriend's phone. I'm using my phone to record. So I guess when I connect my phone, it'll tell me which phone is connected and which phone is not. The sentry mode you can activate and deactivate from the security here and it looks really nice it's a little red dot that you can't miss so you you won't ever confuse yourself if you have sentry mode on or off the valley mode it's still the same you can clear the pin from here and the speed limit mode is the same as well you can press this little three dots here and you can set the speed limit from here as well going back upgrades so the upgrades for all the Canadians. So this, so this is what the upgrades look like. You have software updates and accessories. So let's click on software update. 
So as you can see, I haven't bought the rear seat heaters. Like it's there, the hardware is there. All I need to do is pay $400 to Tesla and they'll add on those seat heaters. And we have the full self-driving capability update. And both of these I do not have. Let's click on subscribe. It looks like we haven't gotten the subscription features yet in Canada. If any of you got the subscription feature and you live in Canada, please let us know in the comment section. I don't think we haven't, I don't think any of us has gotten this unless you have bought the full self driving package. That's a different case. But if you have the basic autopilot and in the subscription button, you can subscribe to the it's probably going to be $250 for or $260 for us. So let us know if you can subscribe to full self driving. But this is what it shows. You can man you can click on manage and it'll tell you the subscriptions that you have. So I have unlimited premium connectivity subscription and autopilot. And from here you can go to the Tesla shop and shop around. So you can see everything that you can buy, all the accessories that you can buy for your Model 3. Interior, exterior, wheels and tires, floor mats, parts, keys, everything that you need. You can now order directly from your Tesla app. Usually what you had to do before the Tesla app is you had to go to Tesla's website. You have to go to shop and then you could access these. But right now it's a really nice feature to have. Let's say you're, you need to get new wipers. All you have to go all you have to do is go to parts and click on it and you'll see that is like a paint repair kit there's like a roadside safety kit there's the model 3 air filter that you need to change every two years and it's out of stock and the model 3 wiper bleed one thing that i noticed is let's say if if it's out of stock when you click on it there is no option for you to enter your email address so that once it's in stock it'll like t tesla will send you an email saying that your item is now in stock you can go ahead and buy it this is an option that you can get from the tesla website so when you're shopping around in tesla website if anything is out of stock you can put down your email address and you can click on notify and it'll notify you once it's restocked so in the service section once you click it it's pretty minimal the font is again really small compared to what it was before you can schedule service uh this is similar to what we had before but right now it's even easier it, it's it's nicer it's little buttons that you gotta click just like this uh, i'm not gonna do anything right now go back you can also check out your history and check out all the maintenance work that you did and then after service we got roadside assistance this is similar to what we had before as well but everything looks nicer now it is smaller like i said people with disability is going to find it really hard to navigate the tesla app hopefully they'll come up with a solution in the future but once you do this this is what roadside assistance looked like and someone is going to come and help you out as soon as possible once you finish and go through this process oh we have one more thing on the top right we you can now set a profile picture that I haven't set yet uh, on the top left you can see all your teslas uh, here i guess you can see all your teslas so if you have multiple teslas you can see them here and then it has the tesla shop and this is a little bit different than what we just checked out a couple of minutes ago this is not your model 3 parts I guess you have your parts as well. You can buy charging equipment, you can buy other vehicle accessories, apparel and lifestyle. You can go there, you can buy all the mini Teslas that you want. And there's drinkware, the Tesla tequila decanter because you can't really buy alcohol here online. Um, there's outdoor and tech. So this is probably the, okay, the umbrella and the desktop supercharger. So you can directly buy it from the app. This is what you get. Let's go back. So we have the inbox. So if you have any brand new updates or messages, this is where you can get your messages. We got the loot box where you can see your supercharging. And thanks to all of you, I have like around 28,000 of supercharging. And if you were thinking about buying a Tesla, use my Tesla referral code. You'll get your free 1500 kilometers of free supercharging. And then you can share your referral code as well. So if you want to share your referral code, this is where you get it from going back and we have the account so it has all the contact info charging you can now see your charging history as well you can manage the payment directly from the tesla app now and you can see all your supercharging that you did the app is still a little bit glitchy you can manage payment it can once you click on manage payment 
you can see the card that's in the file and you can add a new card in file you don't have to go to tesla's website anymore you can do it straight from the app which is nice this is how you pay for supercharging basically and you can see your order history of everything that you ordered from the tesla website and the app going back now we have these settings and you can choose to sync your calendars your notifications uh, all that stuff and then you have the sign out button so that's the complete walkthrough of the brand new tesla app i hope you guys like this video and followed through if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section and also if you're new to the channel thanks for watching subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get notified when i upload any of these new videos okay my tesla is going i'm in the passenger seat so it's shutting down i'm still here tess I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. How could I know there was no second chances? Like Tommy. So come on